Hello, happy field trip Friday. I'm out here today to show you a site with invasive species. I'm gonna show you what they are, what problems they can cause, and also some things we can do to help out. So here we can see evidence of a couple different invasive species. The first one is the really tan colored mat of grass everywhere. That's Japanese stiltgrass, and it's an invader. It comes into an area and takes over. It forms this mat over the ground so that other plants can't grow. So that means native tree seedlings can't regenerate in this area. Another thing that we see here is a lot of dead trees. Some of them are dead standing trees up there but also a lot of dead fallen trees over there and here. These are green ash trees and they were killed by an invasive species called the emerald ash borer. Here we can see evidence of the ash borer burrowing under the bark and that's what ultimately killed these trees. And over there you can see multiflora rose Multiflora rose is one of the first things to get its leaves in the spring, so it can outcompete other native plant species to grow faster and take over an area. So all of these things combined are leaving this area pretty barren. So what can we do to help? One thing we can do is plant new species, native trees and seed, uh, shrub seedlings, to help them compete with these invaders. Here you can see these sticks put into the ground. We spray painted them with paint so we can find them later, but these are live stakes. Certain species of dogwood, willow, um, spice bush, and button bush, they can all be cut in the late winter and early spring season and placed in the ground in a wet area. And this year they'll form roots, and next year they'll form new shoots and new shrubs. So we've planted clusters of these all along this area to help with species diversity. So we can have more things growing here besides just three different species of invaders. And this is all really important because this is a streamside site. So in a lot of areas, we're trying to plant trees along the stream to help filter sediment and nutrients from going into the stream. It keeps the water cool and it keeps the water quality healthy for fish, and macroinvertebrates that live in the stream. In this area, there was a forested buffer here, but because of invasive species, the buffer was in trouble. By planting these native species, we're helping to bring it back. Thank you. We'll see you next time.